Good morning my hoons, goons and all my baboons. How are we all doing this morning? Um, today we're going to be working on the Holden Rodeo as I haven't been giving it a lot of love lately and I really wanted to do something with it because I'm just fucking sitting around doing nothing. So today we're going to be installing a boost gauge um, which for example is on my WX right now. This little uh, pod here is a, um, is a pressure gauge sensor that basically just sends um, how much boost you got, uh, you're putting through your turbo right to your um, gauge. And today, we're going to be installing one on the Rodeo. So just as an example, if I find my keys, like I'll show you what it does and how it works and where to hook it up. Just go into the Subaru here. No. <sighs> Best thing about this one is I'm pretty sure it... Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay. That's all good. Um, so basically, I'm just showing you guys what it does. And put my code here. As you can tell, right there, it's just hit a negative. Because at idle, um, all it's doing is taking vacuum from the turbo. Um, but if you can see, I'll put it in the spot sharp here. And when I hit the throttle, it'll go to zero which basically means that it's um, zeroing out the boost um, and basically building boost at RPM so as you can tell here I'll rev the car to about five and you'll see that the tachometer um, jump see that so basically what that is doing is it's building boost with the turbo and what it's doing is it's sending a pressure sensor all the way to the um, pressure gauge basically telling you that um, your turbo is building boost um, with this it allows um, it allows you to pretty much detect how much boost your car is running and and it can help a lot with uh, boost leaks in your car and we're gonna be installing one on the ute today just because I think it's cool and I really want one <laughs> so I just popped the bonnet here just to give an idea of where you would hook up a boost uh, control line to your pressure pressure sensor Basically, um, one of these lines that would be leading off your bluff valve or on a turbo of some sort is basically um, what tells you uh, where to put it. So any line that hooks from a bluff valve or a um, wastegate, I'm not sure about the wastegate though, but I'm pretty sure you can because they're also pressure activated. Um, basically, you do what you do is you hook a line from in here and then you run a line around in through a grom somewhere into the interior and then lead it back out onto the dash to what to um indicate where the boost is on the turbo also i apologize for the shittiness of this video i am running very tired and i've barely had any sleep <laughs> yeah, so yeah um basically um that allows you to tell how much boost your car is pushing at um idle and as well as when you're building boosts through gears and when you're driving so on my car, I found out that it has a like a reroute system, and it's not even an EGR. I thought it was, but that there is actually like a blow-off valve of some sort, and basically all you're doing is just running a vacuum line from the EGR solenoid over there all the way back to this. And I know because when I rev it, this little um, thing goes in, and then when you let off the throttle, it comes back out. That's basically indicating that it's shut off this valve so that no um, gases can come back through the exhaust into the intake. Don't worry, in the future I'm going to be deleting this as, it's, although it is an EGR, um, it's like a blow-off valve, so it doesn't really need to be here. And all I am going to do is just put a um, blow-off valve right here. So, we're going to be cutting into the line here, and then running a line along this fuel pressure hose onto this wiring harness, and then back around, and then back through this grom right here, where the wiring harness is. Then once that's done... Sorry about the mess. But once that's done, we're going to route it through the interior, over up, and onto that side of the dash. As once that's done, we can basically hook up the um, turbo, uh, sorry, not turbo. We can hook up the boost gauge up right onto the interior, and we can read how much boost our car is pushing. Hopefully this doesn't fuck up, because this is my only wiring. Um, this is my only tube I have, and if I had to hook up another one, I don't think it'd be safe. Anyway, let's see how I go. Let's hope I don't fuck up and uh, let's see how we do. All right, first step as usual, um, pretty much take your keys out of the car. Um, I'm leaving them in because I literally don't give a fuck. I'm gonna get my tripod so that I can um, set it up and let you guys watch. Oh, much better. Okay, tripod. I 
I don't think this is safe, but if it isn't, then too damn bad, because I think it's cool, and I really don't give a shit. So either way, we're going to install a boost gauge, and let's see how we do. Because <laughs> this is my first time, I'm not lying, to hook up a boost gauge. And I'm a little bit tad nervous, because I feel like if I have a boost leak, this turbo is going to freak the fuck out. Okay. Alright. So basically what we're doing is we're cutting off this line here, which leads back to our blow-off valve over here, slash EGR solenoid thing. And what I am going to do is, I don't recommend using a knife. YouTube, this is a tool, it is not a weapon. This thing is made by Snap-on. These, these are very nice knives, as you can tell here, it's a nice carbon steel blade. And Kevlar handle, carbon Kevlar handle, and this thing is absolutely expensive, and I love it. And as much as I hate to say it, but I love using this thing. So, all I'm going to be doing is just basically creating a nice little slit here. What we've done is we've just basically opened up our air hose. Hopefully that didn't fuck it up, because I can't afford it. <laughs> okay, let's just cut a little bit of this shit off. Okay, we're going to cut a little bit off the excess top here as it's not really needed. Get that shit off and fucking off my pants. <clears throat> oh, there's a tea fitting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh wow, that uh, needs to be cut off a lot more. So, I'll just cut a little bit more off this shit. And hopefully that sticks out a little bit more. There we go. Now we've got one end of our hose. Now we're going to be getting our T-fitting here. That hooks up to our boost gauge. And shove that little fucker in there. And as I hope again, it doesn't fuck up. And I hope it doesn't break. Because <laughs> if it does, this is going to be an expensive fix. Because <laughs> this thing is... These are cheap. But no one, Isuzu, these lines are expensive. <laughs> I really hope I don't fuck this up. Usually a good trick would to be is to warm up the hose with a bit of hot water and just basically stick it on. But I don't have that and I don't have the luxury of doing that as I've only got Mountain Dew. So all I'm gonna be doing, Fold that back. No! Oh shit. Okay, um, so that's a good thing. My knife's just dropped to the ground. Sorry, my tool. Great, I'm gonna get demonetized. That's just fantastic. Well, it's nice knowing you guys, and I hope you enjoy the video. <laughs> no. Um, oh man, fuck. This is gonna. Not, this is <laughs> really not easy. I'm so thankful it's not a hot day, because if it was, I would not be out here doing this shit. <clears throat> Alright, there we go. And the T-fitting is nearly on. Oh, fuck. That's a hard fucking line. <laughs> I'm guessing that's gonna have to do because I don't think I can get, probably not get any more. All right, so let's hook up our line to this boost gauge. Hoping that this doesn't fuck up either. Knowing myself, I do not trust what I do, but let's just see what happens. Boost gauge is here, I'm not gonna rev it until I come back.
I mean, unless um, I think it is what it is and it just like reverts back um, through the um, gauge, um, hoping that that's what it's doing. Um, I'll take it for a drive, see what's happening. If it does do that, then um, I'll let you guys know. But if not, we've practically just hooked up our own boost gauge to this car. And if I haven't, then I'm fucked. Because <laughs> now I'm going to be cutting this one to redo this fucking line. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope to God I did not fuck this. Okay, so I just took it for a drive. It doesn't turn out that that's a part of um, a pressure. So it's one of two things, the gauge needs to be replaced or I've hooked it up to the wrong line. I'm indicating and I'm thinking that I hooked it up to the wrong line because I took it for a drive and it didn't change whatsoever. When I was changing through gears, I even put it in the fifth and fourth throttle and play at 40 k's in there and nothing. So I'm gathering that that's a vacuum line and I think it's pushing it. I could be wrong um, because it's vacuum is creating like a little lever that pushes the valve shut and when you let off it opens up because that's rebuilding the vacuum off so i'm gathering that but that's the confusing thing is because when i hit throttle that zeroes out and from t 20 it goes to that so this is not fucking easy this is quite confusing <laughs> for me because I've never done one of these, so, hmm, this is interesting. We'll see what we can do for the meantime. I'm going to have some lunch, and I'll come back in, like, a couple of, maybe an hour or two. So, um, I've just realised what I've done, and, um, yeah, it was a bit, bit fucking stupid. So, it turns out that butterfly valve over there is actually controlled by this vacuum pump right down here behind the alternator. And I've just hooked up my boost gauge right down to that vacuum alternator. So there's literally not going to be any fucking boost building whatsoever. So I've just fucking cut into a vacuum line for no fucking reason. Ha ah, ha, great. Fucking great. I love my job. <laughs> so, um, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do now. I'm probably going to have to jump down to super cheap or whatever and fucking grab myself a oh, fucking good toolkit. I forgot to see what the fuck am I talking about. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's a good question. I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. I'm probably thinking I'm going to have to run it off the wastegate line that's just over here or fucking do something stupid with this intake over here. So cut it in a fucking hole and then run in a wire and I really wouldn't want to do that. But because there's no wiring hooked up or any other excess lines hooked up to these uh, lines all the way to the throttle body, I'm thinking I'm going to have to do something fucking stupid and probably try and look at trying to make my own. So, I'm thinking about hooking up to this wastegate down there, if you guys can't see it. It's just over... Oh, this fuck, I found it beforehand. But, oh, there it is. So, uh, it's just that little piece of white metal here. You guys can't see it. It's that little thing, that's a little tee off right down to the wastegate. I'm going to have to take this hose off that off and these two lines just so i can get to that wastegate i'll figure this out for the meantime as this is just a bit fucking bleh i'm probably gonna have to get another t fitting so i can hook it up to the wastegate but for the meantime i'm gonna have to fucking figure out what i'm gonna do uh, okay i'm gonna pack up my tools i'm gonna bring the wrx in and then i'm going to take my car all the way down to super cheap auto Grab like a small tea fitting or some shit like that, something similar, just so I can get that fucking thing fixed. And once that's done, um, I'll come back and I'll cut into that wastegate line and then we'll try and run some pressure through there. Because I think that's the only place we can hook it up. Because <laughs> there's like no way on uh, it's going to feed right through to the turbo from just the intake piping. So I'm going to have to bring the car in. Take all my tools in from out there, so all my fucking ratchets and sockets. Ugh! Bring it in and then put it all away, and then I'll come back 10, 20 ish minutes, hopefully, and then we'll be able to pretty much redo that setup. I'm not gonna lie though, the start up on this thing is so fucking loud. And it's stock too, like what the fuck? Alright, red light, and that means we can now turn the car on. 
Uh, I might want to shut the pot today. <laughs> oh, ah, my door. Ah, much better. Alright, let's get the power in and take my ass out of here. Okay, it's on sport mode. Sport, sport shop. Yes, it's cold. I don't give a fuck. Oh. Much better. Okay, I think I'm in. I think we can do that. And might as well do it for the boys. Give it a nice bang and pop. <laughs> Alright, let's go, it's a super cheap. And, oh, am I in? Alright, sweet. And shut the door. Oh no, I hit buggies. <sighs> that's not good, that's not good at all. No, 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 no. Alright. Grab this, put that there, put that there. And what we will do is. Huh? Kids are outside in the car, so I might need to get a move on. Oh, the thong. Better feed ass mouthy fucking weird cunts. Anybody wanting to fucking see my feet? Yeah, no, get fucked. <laughs> Alright, let's go to this car. Putting a mask on upstairs. Oh, what? I'm going to super cheap order. Got a super cheap order. I accidentally cut into the wrong vacuum line for my boost for my first cage. <laughs> Here's all right. It's not broken. It's not broken. It's just I hooked up to the wrong line. Oh, look at this thing! Damn. Okay, so we've got the stuff. Now we're just heading back home and then putting it onto the Ute. I also got one of these mini collectibles, so let's open it up and see what's inside. Oh, it's biodegradable, that's good. And we got, hey, we got a little polish, that's awesome. Finally, I can polish up my headlights and make them clearer. <laughs> Alright, now that we've got that done, I found a wire under the car and I'm going to be using this to um, be fixing it, so it shouldn't take long. Okay, top off that, get a zip tie out, I'll be back in three seconds, fixing my car, it's super cheap order, how surprising that. And we're back, um, just came back from the shops, I fixed up that vacuum line, basically what I did was I used the rest, uh, that three meter tube that I was leading into the, um, uh, interior, and then basically I just took the original off the EGR solenoid, took it off the butterfly <laughs> The bath valve that leads back into the exhaust, um, and then just rerouted the uh, that three meter line in. So when I did that, I just basically, well, did everything right except basically this time I cut. Mm, no way yet. Oh, fuck, opening this bonnet tire with one hand. So yeah, I just basically rerouted the whole entire um, three meter line that I had beforehand, and then just did it back up to the valve, just back up here. So. Anyway, now we're going to cut off that butterfly valve and we're going to take all this intake shit off and I'm going to have to use my gloves because it's hot as fuck and I don't want to burn myself. So in the meantime, I'll be back. I'll just fucking put this bonnet hinge up and then I'll be back in like two seconds. All right. Grab the fucking expensive gloves that I had to fucking rape the snap-on dealer. had to rape my ass for. Cut. Seriously, like 104 fucking dollars. Like, huh? Like, Jesus Christ. He really gave me it, gave it to me on that one. $105, please. Which is absolutely insane. But, uh, yeah. In the meantime, now that I've got these on, let's bloody go. Alright, what we're going to do now is we're going to start... Oops, it's upside down. We're going to take off this, take off that, take off all this piping down here, and then we'll have access to that wine down there. 
that line is just basically leading from the wastegate to the turbo and what we will do is we'll cut into that and then we'll re reroute the line back up following this line back over to the to the air conditioning um, core and then oh probably not off that one that one's hot um, so what we will do is we'll just route it off that probably and then we'll hook it up onto that and then reroute it off that onto this and back across onto this cold side and then back into there as you can see there so this shouldn't be too hard hopefully it shouldn't be too easy either as well everything in mechanics is a struggle <laughs> so let's have some fun and uh, get this thing installed cool let's just put you there look at that <laughs> all right let's get started Uh, time lapse starts. Okay, um, I did a little bit of stuff off camera, but basically what I've just done is I've taken the original uh, line off, such as this, because it's all fucking cracked and shitty. And then I've just basically put a new one on from the old existing, uh, from the new line that I have. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be running the T-fitting off these two things here. Thankfully, these are apparently supposedly meant to be heat resistant. So we're going to be hooking these two up and then try and finding a place to run it through. Hope Couldn't do it through that wiring harness because there's a bunch of shit in the way. So I'm thinking maybe this little grommet here, but it's going to be very hard to get it through. As it's a very small hole and the lie doesn't fit. So I'm going to have to do something fucking stupid and maybe run it just into the interior for now, just through the window to see if it works. And if it doesn't, then we'll try something else for the meantime. But at least we now know that I can get these lines on here because it was a little bit of a tight fit. So in the meantime, I'll come back to you guys when the boost gauge is working. Okay, so I've just hooked up the pipe in again and then uh, just rerouted it. And boost gauge is over there. I'm going to get the keys, turn it on. Hopefully nothing's in the way. Nothing is. Sweet. Let's grab the keys from the toolbox. These, put them in the ignition, see if anything happens. As if so, hopefully this will work, and if not, I don't know where the fuck to put the boost gauge. <laughs> Alright, key in the ignition. Car neutral, sweet. Yes! <laughs> oh yes, we finally did it. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, thank God. Fuck, we did it. All right, I'll put this, uh, I'll reroute it nicely back into the interior and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I've just put the line and routed it into the interior through this little gap that I found and just put it up through the pillar. So what I am going to do is I'm going to put a nice little hole, I think probably there or around here will do nicely and then um, re-feed this line through that hole and then hook the boost gauge up somewhere here. Don't know where to be currently um, but hopefully somewhere really cool because I really want this thing to go in and I know it's going to go because Literally, we've just inf just fitted a boost gauge to uh, to my ute, so, <laughs> so this should be cool. Okay, so just coming back, I just drilled a hole through the side of the interior so that I can fit the uh, lines through there. I'm also going to probably zip tie uh, something to it. I don't know what yet, but um, yeah, that's pretty much it uh, for this install. All I've got to do now is just find a place to put the uh, bracket and then put the boost gauge. And then that pretty much calls it. 
I'm glad you're enjoying your night. 